Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I'm going to talk about ABO blood group system and RH uh, positive and negative factor. And today's problem is if the mother of a child is blood type O positive and the child is A negative, what blood type would be father and uh, does the RH factor of the child being uh, uh, negative means that one of the parents has to be negative, both of my parents are RH negative, all of us siblings are RH negative as well. Could two RH negative parents give birth to RH positive child and vice versa. So uh, here is a, a possible answers that you have to choose uh, depending on this uh, data that is provided in the problem. If you need the time, as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, before I will show you how to solve this problem, I want to remind you what the uh, phenotypes and genotypes we have, considering ABO blood group system, so, uh, blood group A can be made by two genotypes, that is AA and AO. Blood group system B, uh, this is phenotype B, can be made by two genotypes BB and BO and uh, blood group AB can be made by one genotype that is AB and blood group O can be made by um, one genotype OO. So as you see we have four uh, phenotypes, four phenotypic groups AB, AB and O and six genotypic groups. So six genotypes make four phenotypes. So now we are ready to solve our problem and also I would like to show you that uh, RH factor is independent of uh, blood group, ABO blood group system and uh, RH factor was found in uh, monkeys first and then uh, it was found in human blood so it's just a protein uh, one of the important proteins that uh, can be found on the surface of the red blood cells and uh, this is uh, another important uh, characteristic of the blood for blood transfusion so uh, this um, protein can be found on the surface of the red blood cells or it can be absent. So that's why we use uh, positive sign and negative. So uh, positive signs means that uh, protein is present and negative sign means that protein is missing. We also can say that uh, RH positive and RH uh, absent. This would be the same. So now it would be easier for you to understand following Punnett square. For example, uh, one parent can be heterozygous for the RH factor, meaning that uh, he has two chromosomes. Uh, all the chromosomes goes in pairs, so we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, and this RH factor on one of the couples can be present on one chromosome and can be absent on the another one. So there are some uh, genes that can be present in one copy and absent in the other copy. So this chromosome you may get from your mother's side and the other one you may get from the father's side or vice versa. And of course there can be different uh, variants. For example, when you may have uh, both this 
uh, genes or alleles present here. So in this case, this is going to be positive and negative. Here it's going to be positive and positive. And uh, another variant could be when we don't have this gene at all on both chromosomes. So we call such situation negative and negative. So let's uh, consider such situation when we, to, when we have two parents and both of them would be heterozygous for this Rh factor, meaning uh, they would have one um, gene on one of the chromosomes and, and the same gene would be absent on the other chromosome and the other parent also could be heterozygous so when we cross these two genotypes here what we can get we can get positive here heterozygous here heterozygous for this factor here and negative here so as you see two people who is going to be of the positive genotype so this is positive because uh, even those one um, chromosome missing this gene another one has this gene and this gene would produce protein and the same here so we have two uh, parents who has uh, this uh, factor present on at least one chromosome and such two parents would produce three out of four children who is also going to be Rh positive but they also would produce one out of four chances uh, children who is going to be negative so this is our answer to one of the questions could uh, positive uh, Rh positive parents produce Rh negative child yes they can as you see on our Punnett square this happens to 25% uh, of the progeny but could uh, two negative uh, two parents who is Rh negative uh, produce progeny who is uh, going to be Rh positive and as you see this is not possible so two Rh negative uh, parent would produce Rh negative children so uh, we already answered uh, this question both of my parents are H negative all of us siblings are H negative as well so this is this example and could to our H negative parents give a birth to a child who is Rh positive and as you see it is impossible and vice versa to positive Rh positive parents can give a rise to progeny who is going to be Rh negative and now we can return to our initial uh, problem and uh, questions and can solve uh, this uh, variance here present here so uh, once again here is our genotypes that make these phenotypes and let's look at this variance that we are given at the answer A so uh, if we have a mother of the child to be O positive so she belongs to this genotype and she may also uh, be of this gen genotype for the RH uh, positive factor or she also can be plus plus so um, and the child is a negative so mother is O positive child is a negative and uh, what blood type would be father so uh, because uh, we can once again use a Punnett square and list the genotype of uh, of the mother and this is only one genotype as you see possible 
So we can list her genotype here. So it's going to be O or genotype, but we don't know uh, the genotype of the father. And um, of course, genotype of the father can be A, because if we would make a Punnett square, so we would put A here and A here, for example, this genotype, and we can get uh, A or genotype here. And that means that the child can be uh, A. Uh, phenotype. The same is here and the same applies to the positive sign here because as uh, I show you two parents who is uh, RH positive can produce RH negative child if uh, both parents are heterozygous. But why we have to cross out this answer? Because uh, here is given uh, genotype for the father that is O. And as you see, uh, I'm sorry, phenotype. And as you see, genotype would be OO. If we cross and put OO here and would build a Punnett square, as you see, uh, the phenotype and genotype of the uh, progeny only possible that is going to be also O. Genotype would be OO and phenotype would be O. So that's why we cannot use this answer and we have to cross out this answer. And the same is here. We have uh, one variant is O, and as you see, this is impossible for two parents who is uh, both O phenotype to produce uh, phenotypically different child that belongs to blood group A. And of course, uh, if father would be BB genotype or BO genotype, uh, such two parents also wouldn't be able to produce this genotype here or phenotype here. So we also can cross out answer C, but uh, here all these variants present here in the answer B can produce um, progeny who is going to be A negative. For example, you can take any of these genotypes and maybe this one would be most confusing for you, so I would use this for the father. So uh, if I use this genotype for the father, the um, genotypes of the progeny can be as follows. So father would be A, B, and if we build the Punnett square, as you see, uh, the genotypes of the progeny can be A, O, A, O, B, O, and B, O. So 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group A. Because here, as you see, we have genotype A, O, and that means phenotypic group A. And as you see, those, uh, this parent would be uh, RH positive, and mother of the child would be also RH positive, they still can produce progeny who is going to be RH negative. So all these answers apply to our problem. So this is going to be our choice. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.